Hello, the F plus. This is 24 terrible hours, and these terrible hours are about to begin. Um, I am scared, uh, and w and with me uh, in the room tonight, who who do I have right now? I've got I've got boots rain gear. Hi, I'm terrified. Uh, looks like I got Frank West. That's me. And I've got Jimmy Franks. Hello, friends. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then our uh, resident artist uh, right now uh, is Portex. Uh, Portex is standing by and <laughs> has a delightful copyrighted image uh, <laughs> that, you, that you should not steal. <laughs> um, so, uh, so what I was I was thinking about to start off with, uh, there's a document by Caroline. 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 And uh, I know that um, uh, in this podcast that uh, I, uh, right now, Frank West, Jimmy Franks, uh, Booth Rang here, I am the only one in here that is that is not bearded. Mm. 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 Uh, That's a problem, it's, isn't it? That, well, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. I mostly feel fine about it. Uh, but, uh, but then I was looking at this document uh, that Caroline provided, <laughs> and... Um, and uh, this document is called Beard Stuff. Beard Stuff. Beard Stuff. Um, so it looks like this is a beard fetish material. Ooh. Um, so that's that's very exciting. Yeah, um, it's, uh, it's pretty tame. It's like kind of the, you know, as we get into this, it's like a, it's like a light, like a spritzer, like it's a it's a. A way to cleanse the palate before we get into... I think so. I, I don't actually think we'll probably get to grow stuff at all, probably. <laughs> probably yeah, not. Uh, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think we'll probably be fine. You mean but... like over the whole 24 hours? No, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, think, I think we'll shy away from gross stuff this entire time. That's good. <laughs> um, this will be a wholesome, uh, a wholesome day with the F+. <laughs> but yeah, I will. I will point out uh, that uh, Boots Rain Gear and myself are joined by a, a, a rotating cast for all of these twenty-four hours and twenty-four different segments. Um, on your screen, uh, you should be uh, seeing a donate now button, uh, and you should click that. Um, and those donations all go to the Southern Poverty Law Center. But uh, let's get started here, uh, Jimmy Franks. I think it's probably time for us to go to Yahoo Answers. Mm -hmm. I think that's a great way to start the podcast. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so, so yeah. Jimmy Franks, do you have a question you want to ask us? Yeah, I do. Uh, it's it's been on my mind for a while, um, and I've I just I've felt this way for so long. Why do I have an insatiable fetish for beards? Why do you have a fetish, or why is it insatiable? <laughs> I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I feel this fire burning almost inside me when I see. Or am around a male with a beard. I think it's absolutely attractive. The sexiest part to a man. Uh. Okay, Jimmy Franks. Let me stop you for just a sec. Uh huh. Uh, boots. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, restart the server. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's working for me though. Yeah. No, Did it's you... not. It's not no. working for me. Everybody, it's completely. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Well, how? So we're, we, uh, we're, still, we're still streaming. Yep. Good hey, Portax, can we get a technical difficulties? Please stand by uh, <laughs> graphic. <laughs> oh, this is good timing. Immediate. Um, okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. So what have we learned from our 24 hours? <laughs> 24 seconds of terrible. This was, this was, uh, this was yeah. pretty... Uh, see, uh, our, <laughs> our server's down. <laughs> Not less than I thought it would be. <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay, let's... Holy shit. Yeah, no, I can't... Uh, all right. Oh, my God. That's okay. I also, I also forgot to start the local recording of this, so... <laughs> How's everybody doing out there in the Twitch chat? For those of you who are on the stream... <laughs> So this is like a snow day. Whatever time we lose, we're going to have to make up at the end. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> um. Have you ever been to twitch.com? It's, uh, it's very different. They have emojis you can buy now. Ooh, that is exciting. Uh-huh. Shit, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the VNC console works. 
didn't break, break anything. That's just fine. Okay, so... Okay. Maybe... So, Can I ping something it? Something awful thread right now is, here we go, and then the, next, the person posts to me after, well, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Boners.info. Oh, so response. Why can't I log in? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. What? Oh, what would we? Did we just get hit with that much traffic right away, or? What? The PHP load shouldn't have been that bad. No, 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 no. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to reboot the server, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> oh, boy. <All> right. <laughs> We're getting a nice graphic for this, at least, so that's no. that's cool. No, I didn't even look at the graphic. <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> look at that clumsy boot. <laughs> <laughs> so people can still hear us, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, those who are on the, the Twitch stream. Oh. Well, uh, Lemon, while we're waiting, um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about uh, the uh, the reason for the season today and why we're uh, why we're doing this. Uh, the, the, well, so, so Boots, uh, Mr. Boots Rangier had this idea where he was like, he was like, hey, we should, uh, have a live stream. And I was like, really? He was like, we should have it last 24 hours. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> also, to be fair, I prefaced it with, with, you know, you're going to tell me if this is a bad idea, right? <laughs> of course. So it's kind of on you, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Nobody actually gets, uh, <laughs> Full blame for it. so uh, uh, yeah so um, we uh, spent a lot of time uh, working on this site that broke. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and plotting out uh, all of the uh, all of the actual scheduling of the actual thing, um, which you know there's there's a whole bunch of uh, good blocks of content coming up here. And then I and then I forgot what time it was, so I was like ready to sleep for another hour. <laughs> Man, imagine if you weren't here and the site went down. Yeah, plus it's a well-oiled machine. <laughs> All right, so uh, so update on this. Oh, yep. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, I rebooted oh, it, no. and it's not coming back up. Okay. <laughs> so that's. What's happening? That's weird. Yeah, normally that's never happened before. Yeah, normally when you reboot it, it comes back up immediately. Normally you reboot it, it boots. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the problem is boots? <laughs> <laughs> oh my I like god! That, uh, I like the little Jimmy Frank's graphic has like a. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's sad. Lemon's very happy too. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Frank's in a in a in a pose. Um, well, I don't know, J Bo Boost. Do you want to kick it for a while while uh, while Jimmy Frank's just reads about this insatiable fetish for beards? Yeah. All right. All right. Oh man. Well, Hang on. Take the take, take the, the chips out of your me. mouth. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Post a, post the thing on Twitter or whatever to watch on Twitch for now. I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. Why do I have an insatiable fetish for beards? I don't know what it is, but I feel this fire burning almost inside me when I see, or I'm around a male with a beard. I think it's absolutely attractive. The sexiest part to a man. <laughs> I get so excited. It's odd, but I can't help it. All my friends think I'm messed up. Oh, that was that a term you just invented? Yeah. <laughs> messed up that I would be physically and sexually attracted to men with facial hair. Yeah. I, I once thought Jesus Christ was sexy because of his beard. It's odd. But is there anything, maybe any planets, 
Sun, Venus, Mars, Mercury, Saturn, and Aquarius, Pisces, Moon, Scorpio, and Pluto, <laughs> Aries rising. <laughs> Wait. Wait, what? I've lost your stream. What are you talking about at this point? <laughs> are you talking about Sailor Moon? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> So Jesus Christ was sexy. Are there any planets that have beards? Is that the question? <laughs> uh, yeah. That's my question. Uh, well, I I have the best answer. And oh, my, good. My name is my name is Jem. 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 Jem is in Jem and the Holograms, except truly for outrageous. Yeah. Truly, truly, truly outrageous. I love facial hair on guys, too, but only if they can pull it off. The facial hair, presumably. <laughs> like a fake fake beard? <laughs> if they can't, then I don't even look twi at them. Then I don't even look twice at them. Lol, yeah, I'm shallow. Lol, that's great. And a smiley face that's going... Brrr. Next guy I shall date will be six foot something with black hair and dark moody eyes with facial hair. Uh, sort of like this Google image search. Oh. My mom think I am a freak for liking him, but I love Russell Brand. Uh, I see you cite your sources there. <laughs> I do have sources. <laughs> uh, my sources are Gemini Sun, Libra Rising slash Moon, Cancer Mercury, Taurus Mars, and Leo Venus. Oh, Leo Venus, he was really good in uh, in that remake of uh, of uh, Italian Job. I thought he was like a yacht rock guy, wasn't he? No, no, that's no. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Um, uh, well, going to the document here. Uh, this document from Caroline is uh, a little old, uh, so we're gonna have to take some of the stuff out of the document itself. Um, so. Uh, so the the site's back up. Oh, the Yay! site is back up! Yay! It's a little slow loading, but it's there. Yeah, uh, it may be, it seems to be struggling a bit. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so Frank West, uh, why don't uh, you take the uh, role of Papa Smurf and uh, tell us about uh, the spousal challenge? Smurf. There I am. Yes, yeah. Papa Smurf, the mm -hmm. spousal challenge. Your question arises at a very interesting time in my life. The other day, my wife wrote a note to me, and one of the things she said was that she would kiss me if my beard was shorter. It's currently about chest level. The last okay. time she kissed me was about a year and a half ago, when I shitted it off. <laughs> <laughs> you have a weird beard! <laughs> There are asterisks in the middle of that word. <laughs> no, it's just like you know, really clogged up. Just took so much effort. All the the follicles just just popped right out of his face. <laughs> Even when I had no facial hair, she did not kiss me. So I don't put any stock into what she wrote. By the way, I've had a beard since the day we were married, except for a brief period of time. I told okay. my wife that one of the ways I allow her to express her individuality is by wearing her hair the way she likes. I know that when she has her hair cut, styled, or permed, that it isn't just done for my sake, but for her own individual taste. Just as I allow her the freedom to choose how she wants her hair to look, my wife needs to allow me the freedom to choose how I want my beard to look. In marriage, <laughs> even though the two shall become one, it doesn't mean that each partner loses their individuality. Yeah. Phew! My beard, my choice, babe. <laughs> <laughs> well, with all that said, my beard will be a permanent part of me until the day that I die. Oh, wow. I've grown it because it is part of what I am as a man, and I desire to look like a man. It is the way that God has created me. And then, uh, Boots, your name is Jimka, J-I-M-K? Sure is. If, mm -hmm. I, if I knew where we were. <laughs> J-I-M-K. It's, uh, uh, it's in the doc there. Okay. I don't know what... Was there something that uh, took your... Was there something that took your attention away from this document for a minute? Oh, I don't know. Is <laughs> <laughs> there anything else you were thinking about? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, this thing, It's already going so smoothly. <laughs> I'm very much enjoying poor Tex trying to pop a smurf crushed under the weight of his own beard. <laughs> anyway, I'm Jim. K hey, Jim. Good hey. discussion. There's a certain sexual irony to having a beard. 
That is to say, the one of the strongest sensual attractions to our mates is their small, sorry, smell, which can be intensely beautiful during lovemaking. The irony is that a mate doesn't always appreciate his or her scent being presented back to them by way of a beard. That's the issue that we've had in the past, but eventually we overcame it to the point where it's simply a part of our sex life. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. My name is Graybeard07, and uh, this site just confusingly like like logs and broadcasts everyone's IP. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking weird. Also, for once, I think the person with the numbers at the end name, legitimately the other six Graybeards were actually taken this time. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good that would be a good get in this forum. <laughs> Doxing people in real time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we go. Another attack on the bearded. That I can understand Eureka and really don't mind or have any problems here with these types of things. That's my first sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Other than folks driving by and yelling Santa at me as I walk my dog. <laughs> Lol. But I do get irked when I hear that stuff or read about it. Ellipsis. Grrr, lol. <laughs> Went through quite a bit of moods there. Yeah. <laughs> I had on a soundboard. <laughs> I had no issues in Vermont either. Very beardy, very beard friendly place to be sure. Ah! <laughs> and then, um, and then Frank West, uh, you have a response to me. I'm the lone beardsman. <laughs> It's better than being called Osama all the time. Oh! Oh, yeah, I would imagine. Those Strange thing is... Santa over that. Strange thing is, the guys that do it are Muslims from Somalia that live in my apartment complex. I can't figure out if it's meant as a compliment or not. <laughs> Funny, but true. Because the thing about Muslims is... They're all super into Osama Bin Laden. They love him. <laughs> Just love the so guy. So hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, okay. So uh, we're gonna move down into. Well, Jimmy Franks, you have a little bit of bad news that you want to share with us, right? Oh, I, I guess I do. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lead you in here. My name is Jim, but not spelled that way. Spelled the other way. Oh. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I'm from Chicago, as my IP will tell you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> what? The I don't know why. I would be, why the site like built in doxing on you? That's so weird. There were anyway. so many people coming in here who didn't even have beard. We had to start. Keeping <laughs> <laughs> up our security. My new app is called Beard Finder. <laughs> Okay, uh, big, full beards, and women, full pipe, bad news. I was on a forum that, uh, I was on a forum site that shall remain nameless, and the topic came up of what women think of big, full beards. And gentlemen, um, oh, pretty. You're only, you're only talking to one person here. What? Gentlemen? Oh, I'm sorry. And gentleman. <laughs> And the man who is gentle. Yes, uh, he's speaking to me. Okay, so I'm so glad I got your attention. <laughs> you are a very gentle man. I love it when you touch my hand. Okay, so gentleman, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't pretty at all. Overwhelmingly, women found them gross and disgusting. The comment, ew, gross, came up a lot. Some of the more kind comments were simply something like, I just don't find them attractive. This is Zavaki. Hi, Zavaki. And I am oh. a Comcast internet subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross, huh? I'm my humble opinion. 
<laughs> this is just another symptom of the systematic emasculation of the American male. <laughs> Milady. Now, I can't speak for men of other nations, but I have eyes to see what's happening here at home by an increasingly politically correct society. Oh, yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We are no longer allowed to exhibit any masculine traits in our society. Even being called macho is reserved as an insult. We can't have snap-on calendars in our service stations because having a photograph of a pretty woman in a bikini on the wall of a privately owned business <laughs> can get you sued for sexual harassment because openly appreciating feminine beauty is has been relegated to objectification. Okay. <laughs> If we don't weep like schoolchildren with skinned knees at every emotional event, we are, quote, insensitive. If we like John Wayne movies or American football, where barbaric hunters do murderers. <laughs> oh my god! Etc., etc. <laughs> yeah, God, just people who like football in this country are so yep. marginalized. <laughs> every time I see a girl, I tip my beard to her. <laughs> So there's so much more. Okay, uh, now I have no problem with any man that does not exhibit the same behaviors or beliefs as I do. I would never call a man more overtly sensitive than I am a sissy because I don't believe that's true. Everyone is simply wired differently. Why then do I have to be subjected to a stereotypical generalization about what kind of man I am because I do behave the way I do? Why is it a sin to be an old school American male? Why is it gross to have a beard? Why am I a monster? Because I believe that men crying in public is embarrassing. So, some things such as the liberation of France, watching Brian's song with the guys, your mom's funeral, etc. Of course, exceptions. Watching Brian's song with the guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's your guys' night out? <laughs> you get it on DVD hey, and watch uh... it at home. Hey guys, uh, Brian's song's on uh, TNT tonight. What are you, uh, what are you up to? <laughs> Shit dog, I'm there! <laughs> Do you bros like cancer? <laughs> well, the beard outwardly represents all the evils of masculinity to a world that no longer find anything masculine to be virtuous. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, that came like six seconds too late. <laughs> <laughs> have we told the, the listeners we have a soundboard now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well there, I've said my piece. All I know is my wife's opinion is the only female opinion that truly matters to me. Oh, and she loves my right. big, protective, masculine beard. I am an unshrinking, typical male and display all of the associated traits without remorse or apology. Oh, I will fight to defend my woman's honor, my family's, my country's, and my own. I am manly! So, yeah! <laughs> Like, I like that you're like, you're like, anyway, that's all I have to say. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, he keeps going, too. Oh, good. <laughs> In closing, allow me to say this. If you disagree with me, I support you 100%. Just remember, I insulted no one and called no one names for their beliefs. I simply stated an opinion. Thanks for letting me gripe. I just want to just point everyone's attention right now to the poor Dex drawing where his <laughs> beard has chopped a man's beard in half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and I like his fedora. Uh, yeah, well, obviously, yeah. So, so Frank West has pointed out that our donation total has uh, reached over $100. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and Lemon doesn't know this, but every $100, uh, this happens. Yeah! <laughs> we don't have the rights to the false song. Okay. Yeah. Fair use, fair use, fair use, fair use. That's because every, it costs us $100 to play that clip every time. So. Yeah. <laughs> Back to zero, folks. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so four early donations. Uh, thank you very much. What are what is everyone drinking right now? Is it is it? I mean, I'm just on coffee. Is that is that what everyone else is at? I got a Dr Pepper. Okay, good. good. It's, it, well, it's like three o'clock uh, uh, yeah, Pacific yeah, yeah. time, so it's a little early for me. Okay, <laughs> I got I just I, I got handed to me a Red Racer India Session Ale, and it is quite tasty. All right, great. Oh, the, the, the Papa Smurf so far has been my favorite. <laughs> I'm glad that... Uh, these are all being saved, right, Portax? I'm going to assume that... I'm going to hope Yeah, the response will take a moment, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, so, uh, so, fr so Frank West, uh, this, this post you have here is called, what do you mean no fruit? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean no fruit? I'm the bearded red. Hallelujah. Reverend, Reverend that has a beard? Um, uh, possibly the bearded revenant i <laughs> well, it's uh bearded revised so he just <laughs> oh thank you it. for the answer for tax that's helpful thank you <laughs> <laughs> wow this is this is an efficient way to communicate <laughs> <laughs> Well, also, also, the, the, the fun thing on with the smoke signal. The fun thing about this is that you guys get double the delay that I get. Yeah, 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 it's pretty good. <laughs> Early spring, a young man decided to grow his first garden. He arose one morning very early and sowed the seeds he would need for the wonderful harvest of fruits and vegetables he envisioned reaping. After much mm -hmm. toil on the day of decision and planting, he retired to bed with aches in his muscles and anticipation in his heart for the fruit of his labor. Um. He rose. It's it's there's like a bunch of ellipses after instead of periods, so I'm assuming it's like a fable or a prose poem. Yeah. Or he keeps he keeps drifting off into sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he wrote this post over several days, which is fruit of Oh, oh, still posting. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop posting. Never stop posting. Uh, he arose the next morning with eager expectation, only to see no fruit for his labor. This scene repeated day after day. Finally, he asked God, Why? I have sowed seeds and labored, but I don't yet see the fruits of my reward. Is this like a lazy caterpillar? Oh, wait, what was it? lazy grass? Which one was the lazy one? Uh, yeah. Never mind. You're, you're, you're the one with the child here. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even let me near yes, I always I mean. tell. I always <laughs> tell her Grimm's fairy tales. <laughs> loudly and closely. <laughs> and then the dog died because it was too vain! In the stillest, smallest voice, the young man hears the reply. You can microwave many things, my son, but a beard, it takes time. Uh, Just a random musing from the mind of a bearded rev. God, I was wondering what your point was, and then when you got there, I was sad that I found out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Zing! <laughs> <laughs> That's a real handy one for you there, isn't it, Portex? <laughs> Every time I can just keep looking over and see Portex looking me off again. <laughs> uh, hey guys, time for a Big Stash update! Oh yeah, who's this? Who's this? Well, my name is Big Stash One. Oh hey! I'm Australian. Oh no. <laughs> but I don't sound like it. <laughs> Good. Just not actually... I'm, I emigrated here. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey man! Just thought I would give a couple of update picks in this huge stash of mine if anyone is interested. Cheers! Right. And then, uh, uh, Boots, you're, uh... I want a beard uh... so bad! <laughs> oh my god! I want a beard so bad! I'm from Canada! <laughs> uh, sorry man, I'm pretty sure that's a fake. Or some photo montage of some kind. Doesn't feel right. Why are your pictures always so crooked? Give us a straight, close look. Want a beard so bad? Want a beard so bad? Want a beard so bad? <laughs> I'm Mustache. Hey, John, the stash is awesome. The only place it might look better is in my bed, pressed up against mine. Woof. Regards, is Tim. It's in my bed. In my bed, pressed up against my bed. Oh, you mean sex. Okay, sorry. Just hey! Hey! Hey, this is Wolf Boy! Wolf Boy? Wow, man! You have an extraordinary and beautiful mustache! Wow! <laughs> this is God's! Just an admirer! I can tell because of my IP's relationship with your IP! <laughs> Uh, okay. 
Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for the poetry. I think we're close to ready for the poetry, <laughs> but not quite there yet. So, um, uh, Boots. Yes. Uh, your name is Mossy Jaws. Mossy Jaws. Mossy uh, Jaws. Yeah. Mossy Jaws. And, and, uh, you're looking for you're looking for permission to touch. <laughs> Apparently. Sometimes <clears throat> when we touch. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we don't have that on the soundboard. <laughs> yeah, that would be Jimmy Frank just hitting that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Permission to touch. Several of you have talked about strangers wanting to feel your beard. It finally happened to me on Thanksgiving Day. I was visiting relatives and one of their friends just before leaving wanted to feel my beard. I said, sure. She was surprised at my beard being soft. I didn't know why she thought otherwise. Her husband looked on without saying anything. I thought the whole thing was okay, but a little strange. I was not the only one with a beard, but the only one with more than a half-inch beard. Larry okay, D. Okay. Oh, this is just going to turn into a beard measuring contest, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, you get, you get four or more guys together and it just happens. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so tired of Larry D. swinging his beard around like he owns the place. <laughs> I'm Schnauzer. Hmm. What might she and her husband have said or done had you asked for reciprocal privileges? Chortle, chortle. Ooh, chortle, chortle. Chortle, in chortle in brackets. <laughs> hey. I'm not... So he's supposed to ask if he could touch her beard? <laughs> yep, absolutely, chortle, chortle. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, everybody. Uh, this, uh, this is Benny Boy. This is Benny Boy coming at you. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, you should have asked to feel her lady beard in exchange. No. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, uh, hey, you just... are, you, are you okay? <laughs> Sometimes All right. I'm just too funny, man. I'm a health hazard. Chortle, chortle. Hi, <laughs> right, this is Deshaun. Uh, my beard is still too short for that trick. I posted this in another thread already, but if a woman asked me if she could touch my beard, I'd ask either to touch her face or hair or, or maybe her secondary sex characteristic, depending on how uppity I feel. <sighs> characteristics you are you are a killer <laughs> nice i have That's i have funny. had to, i have had relations with women i know what they are oh yeah i imagine <laughs> i think this this particular drawing of vortex is my favorite yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chortle, chortle. Chortle, chortle. <laughs> i'm touching your beard from over here <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but, uh, thank you, Zines Ice Main, for the $22. Uh, by the way, we are reading uh, from uh, the Beard Community Bulletin Board uh, at beardcommunity.com. Um, there's uh, on the left is a beard that is probably like a, it's like Nietzsche or like um, maybe like, uh, like Darwin or something like that. And then on the right, you get a random image, and I got like a shitty puby. QB uh, goatee, so that's fun. I have a man with a rather large head and no... He's looking kind of disappointed at me. Like, sternly just... Oh, mm. I, I think I have the same guy. He's wearing, he's wearing like, a turquoise shirt. On. Uh, yeah, the beardcommunity.com slash forum slash index. Just go there and hit random for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I see a guy that clearly is not dead who is actually trying to pull off the uh, Roosevelt mustache. <laughs> like the TR mustache. It's not going well. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, Jimmy Franks, your name is Hillbilly. It sure is. And uh, we are in the uh, hazard section now. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. and uh, what do you, what do you want to talk about here? Unwanted fetish. Unwanted fetish. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. I'm good. <laughs> you keep moving. Get your head long and finish us here. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Hillbilly. Uh, yeah, I do not know if this is the right place to post this, but I have a problem. I need some help. I want to grow my fur back, but it seems mm. that I have become sexually aroused by shaving myself and by the idea of being kept shaved. 
Oh, now I'm... wow. So you have both a beard fetish and a shaving fetish. Oh. That is that is quite a purgatory that you live in there. Mm, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm walking the razor's edge every day, brother. Now, <laughs> how and where I picked that up, I do not know. But I do not like it. And I know it is very wrong. But it seems that I cannot help myself soon as the fur goes while I end up shaving and after it is done I end up wishing that I had not done it and I'm tired of having that happening. How can I get rid of the desire to keep cutting my fur? <laughs> I have n no desire to cut anyone else's fur, only my own. Don't fucking call it fur, Jesus. And, and I hate having that happen. I wish I could lose the desire to shave forever, but it seems that I'm helpless, as I have tried many times, but keep failing, and I am sick of it. Okay, first step. Oh, hillbilly, this is Santa Claus! <laughs> Santa Claus? <laughs> Why, hello there! Oh, this is Santa Claus! Ron, I am at a loss for words! I do remember a few videos of you petting your beard. Maybe remembering that feeling you had when petting it might bring you the same joy as shaving does now. I wish you luck in your crisis, Santa! <laughs> <laughs> From SoCal. I didn't know that's where... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah it's, right... it's my vacation home! <laughs> the North Pole South. The South North Pole. That's... Yeah. Hey, Lemon. Yes. Is it poetry time? Is it poetry time? Oh, man. Is it poetry time? <laughs> I know, it's right a tough fine. question. It's a real, All right, fine. It's a real head scratcher. Uh, well, so, uh, so, so, Boots, you were excited for poetry time. I'm always excited for poetry and time. And so that means you're going to go to uh, page uh, 12 in the documents. Uh, and you're going to see uh, Tiger Beard there. And, and Tiger Beard, uh, he has a poem to share. Wow. Uh, okay. Hello, I'm Tiger Beard. Santa! <laughs> 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 like it's 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 in like the with you always style too. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> so good. Uh, anyway, I'm Tigerbeard. The muse has struck. Be afraid. Be very afraid. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely a little afraid, yeah? Since I don't have a... Wait, is this... Is this preamble to the poem? Yeah, this is oh, preamble okay, to the poem. Good. You gotta lead in. We gotta oh, know where sorry. it came from. Mm. We need to know your inspiration. Oh, great. <laughs> Since I don't have a hope in hell of competing with John's mustache... Which is not possessive, so it's a person named John's mustache. <laughs> I thought I might have a crack at competing with his poetic skills. Here is an ode to his growing abilities. Ooh, I get it. Wait. Sorry, his growing abilities, maybe. <laughs> Done in the style of my favorite poet, William Topaz McGonagall. McGonagall was possibly one of the worst poets ever to write in the English language. However, he never let that bother him, showing a determination and faith in his own abilities that is an inspiration to us all. Ode to the Mustache of John B. Oh, this is, that's, that's a Hitchhiker's Guide reference, isn't it? Uh, I'm not Twitch familiar. chat, tell me. No, yeah, there's no, nobody here knows about any nerd shit. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Upon seeing the recent pictures of John B. and his mustache, this ode from my muse enlightened penned I was compelled to dash. Although others of you may think this action rash, Whoa. I say to them that this is entirely up to me should I choose to praise the mustache of John B. Boy, oh boy. Though William has come close in its glory with his fondle, fundle bar, there are yeah, still many of us stationed both near and far who regard the mustache of John B. as one of the most impressive we will ever see carved from his beard in a way similar to the cutting of topiary. When I search for Fundelbar on Google, it doesn't even have a word to suggest me. It's like, <laughs> that's not a word. It's not even close to a word. <laughs> Fundelbar. <laughs> okay, so, so to the, this is a real guy. This isn't the, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference I was thinking of. Anyway, 
Long has he voiced his opinion that a mustache should be worn alone, unencumbered by beard and freely shown. In fact, on occasion, he has seen fit to chastise two bear who has trimmed when it was possibly unwise. <laughs> or Richard, whose goatee directs the glory of his handlebar from our eyes. And whilst many of us feel he should wear a beard with pride. I am sure that the consensus will be drawn from gentlemen both far and wide that his mustache was too good to hide and is one of the most impressive we will ever see carved from his beard in a way similar to the cutting of topiary. topiary. Line lengths are terrific. Topiary? <laughs> really. No doubt as he makes his way. <laughs> 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 Alright, we've reached 200. Yay! Good job, guys. Achilles Healy's put us over. We got the dancing. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt as he makes his way along the street, he will elicit many an admiring look from people he may meet. And some will say to themselves, My, what a glorious thing. Tis fit to adorn the face of many a prince, or perhaps even a king. And... Other thoughts of admiration I am sure it will also bring to those who would view the loss of his beard with some degree of ire. I say huh? reflect upon my words this evening as you retire. Look upon huh? my beard, ye mighty, and despair. <laughs> <laughs> I love that the beard itself is snapping. <laughs> yeah, no, I hate this poem, but I like that it made this drawing happen. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you will form the same opinion of this mustache as me, that it is one of the most impressive we will ever see, carved from his beard in a way similar to the cutting of Tupperary. All right. Ugh. Nice. Ugh. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Man, that was, that was, I'm glad <clears throat> that beard poem's done. Well, this is the zin 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 Oh, I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. It's zin z zin z z z zin z zin I was gonna say, I thought it was a weird <laughs> accent the ad, maybe. <laughs> Here is another beard poem I have written. The Beard Quadrille. A parody of the Lobster Quadrille by Lewis Carroll. Oh. The Beard Quadrille. Will you walk a little faster, said O Whiting as he neared. There's a porpoise close behind us, and he's treading on my beard. See, it's long and flowing, but the porpoise only jeered. I'm waiting for you to join me. Oh, won't you grow a beard? Well, I mean, you did, you are stealing a, an existing poem, but at least that gave you, like, rhythm, so that's yes. fine. Give me a framework from which to commit this atrocity. <laughs> will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you grow a beard? <laughs> will you, <laughs> will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you grow a beard? <laughs> <laughs> terrible. You can really have no notion how delightful it can be. When you grow your whiskers terminal, just have a look and see. The snail replied, too short, too short, to the whiting that he feared. Said he thanked the whiting kindly, but he could not grow a beard. Would not, could not, would not, could not, would not grow a beard. Would not, could not, would not, could not, could not grow a beard. What matters with how tall you are, his scaly friend replied. You don't have to grow a long one, you could grow it wide. The more you leave it well alone, the more you will be cheered. So do not fail, beloved snail, but come and grow a beard. Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, will you, will you grow a beard? Will you, won't you, will you, won't you, won't you grow a beard? Uh, hey, hey, my, my name's Bearded Baldy. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I was listening to you guys reading poems over there. I'm, I'm over here on Jeff's beard board. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so so here I am over on Jeff's beard board. And Jeff's board, has three Fs for, for some reason. Jeffs. I don't know why it has three Fs. It's Jeff F's board. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I'm Bearded Baldy, and this is Beard Poem. Uh, I thought I might give this a shot. I've grown these hairs upon you on my face, self-contained, not invading your space. The choice to grow is mine alone, unless the wife says, shave the thing or we shall not bone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's actually, I like it. 
<laughs> yeah. It's nice. I, like it. I will groom it with shampoo, conditioner, and oils like a favorite pet. Unless I am Keith in parentheses ABN82. <laughs> <laughs> then I will only get it wet. Oh, inside baseball. I think I just yeah. burned somebody on Jeff's spear board. <laughs> Uh, full beards, circle beards, mustaches, and even a Van Dyke. A new style each month if I decide that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> so, if my beard offends you in any way... <laughs> the sports doesn't know how to respond to this drawing. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep your big mouth shut and have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then, uh, 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 Boots, do you have a haiku? Maybe. I'm, I'm Fender Bender 91, and this, okay. this poem is titled, Maybe a Haiku? <laughs> good, good. Maybe. I, bearded by choice, accept the consequences. Eating can be hard. Yeah! Oh, yeah. yeah. Short and sweet. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, we are about to close out our first hour, and that means that we have to give Jimmy Franks a choice. Oh, really? So, so soon? What? Yeah, no, no, no. You need a choice. Absolutely. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so, uh, so uh, Jimmy Franks, I have uh, two different pieces of uh, beard erotic fan fiction that are far too long to read. <laughs> okay. Um, and I will give you both the title and a, and a one-sentence summary of the piece of fan fiction. Okay. Okay. So, uh, fan fiction number one is called, uh, A Most Unusual Specimen. It follows the <laughs> film... It follows the film very closely, except in this version, Bilbo mesmerizes the dwarves with his beard. It's oh. really long. Yeah. Uh, and then, uh, the second one is, uh, I don't know what it's called, and it's Bilbo shares a tender beard-braiding moment with Thorin before getting cock-blocked by Ori. Well, that sounds pleasant. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's do that one. You want the Ori cock blocking? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it is the last. Um, it is the last uh, story in the document. So just uh, scroll and uh, where do you pick up wherever you like. Frankly. Okay. Let's uh, let's see here. Uh, Bilbo shares a tender beard braiding moment with Thorin before getting cock blocked by Ori. Mm -hmm. um, Bilbo braided a small strand of hair by Thorin's ear, going down to his neck. The shaking he had initially been sporting had slowly ebbed away, and with some direction from Thorin, he eventually made it to the end. Though his fingers are quite dexterous, as he had been told multiple times that day, he had troubles with the button and finding a good position for it. Thorin's hands came up to help him, expertly finding a way of binding the button the braid. They finished the last tie together, and Bilbo found himself quite satisfied with the result. Oh, yeah. Thorin's hands did still not leave Bilbo's, though. The prince seemed, for the first time since waking after their escape from the pale orc, genuinely happy. Somehow this made Bilbo genuinely glad as well, and even more grateful for the companionship they were developing on this amazing adventure of theirs. <laughs> for the first full minute, indeed. this this glee remained grand enough to shadow any strangeness of the situation. The moment it got awkward was once Bilbo realized Thorne's fingers caressing his hands. The dwarf prince was fondly speaking of their softness and nimbleness, how apt they were for so many different uses. And Thorne murmured about his courage, his sharp mind, and unwavering loyalty, and for another moment Bilbo couldn't believe the dwarf prince was praising him so unabashedly. Mm -hmm. Was he supposed to be returning the praise? This could, after all, be a part of the cultural aspects, a list that was already seemed never-ending. Bilbo gave it his best try. Well, well, and you are certainly the most becoming, well, most amazing coming king I have ever met. Oh, boy. Mm. That's, like, that's, yeah. that's, like, that's like CBS writing right there. <laughs> Thorne's icy eyes widened a little in surprise, and he chuckled softly. Remarkable. <laughs> a hand stopped tracing his fingers and came up to stroke his freckled cheek tanned a few shades from their travels Bilbo opened his mouth to say something but stopped as he looked up Thorn was smiling very contentedly down at him <coughs> I'm glad to have received such an answer he murmured leaning a few inches closer 
I truly can't imagine it to be anyone but you. Bilbo was confused. This didn't make sense. Was Thorn saying he couldn't imagine anyone else doing his braid for him? The dwarf's face was suddenly very close to his neck. Icy eyes aligned with the forest green beads, and Bilbo couldn't help but think he must simply have been admiring them. Then he exhales. For all it was worth, Bilbo couldn't quite place where Thorn was going with this, and it left him heavy and immobilized with confusing impulses. Thorne's lips were yeah, well, nearly brushing too. against his sensitive skin as he exhaled. So very close. And then he pulled back, murmuring with a strange voice Bilbo would only associate with possession and adoration. My Bilbo Baggins. Bilbo wasn't given the time to comprehend much as Thorne leaned in. It was only by pure sweet coincidence that Ori's voice called out for him from the camp, halting all movement between the two. The end. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> so, uh, F plus, what did we learn from this? <laughs> beards are fun. Beards are beards are fun. Uh, Can you test out your website before having a bunch of people visit? No, I don't think load test is important. <laughs> I think you just bring on like a whole bunch of traffic all at the same time, yeah. and you just assume that it's fine. <laughs> I like uh, I like my writing about beards like I like my beards short. <laughs> uh yeah no I, it was it was a uh, it was a interesting mix i thought it was an interesting mix of of gay and straight like it definitely didn't seem like there was like women in here but it seemed like there was both gay men and hetero men um enjoying their beards together yeah man um so there that's seemed a like a, a tact understanding that a lot of people are there for fetish stuff that i don't usually like usually when there's a board with people with fetishes mixed with people without fetishes, like the people without fetishes have no idea. But yeah. people here are like, yeah, of course beards are attractive. Sure. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's like coming off of that. Oh, there it is. Hey, Sunburn works again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> Message from like ten minutes ago. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's it's it was like that that the Yahoo Answers thing was like so strange as a lead in because it was like it was like, hey, I think beards are attractive. Is that crazy? It's like. Well, no, obviously that's a physical trait that could be attractive or not. Like that's that's weird to just that's weird to have be like so internet that you would be like, I find a something attractive. Is that my fucked up fetish that I will trace forever? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or maybe it's a personal preference. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, that is the end of hour one. We are going to be coming back in hour two uh, with uh, Nutshell Gulag's choice, the Breatharians. A uh, document given to us by Neil. Uh, we've also got uh, the return of Frank West and Jimmy Franks. Uh, Nat Chocolas joining us. And uh, and one more hour of poor tax drawing. Uh, so stick around. We're going to take a very brief break. Stay tuned for more My Two Franks. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, uh, we're going to learn how to survive on breath alone. <laughs> and maybe the site won't crash. Who knows? Ooh, we'll see.